Hey, what's up? It's Keith, and I am going to do a reaction video about, well, let me introduce myself first. Hold on, I'm new to this. But anyway, I am trans, and I talk about NSFW stuff, whatever NSFW might mean in the moment. I just like to be explicit. Anyway, let's go to the video. FTM sex. <laughs> I hope I get that tonight. Anyway, the video is called Having Sex with a Trans Guy, FTM, by Wicked Cool, who I used to watch a lot. I remember him diving in a pool of lube. That was pretty neat. Yeah. So, let's get started. I'm reacting to this just because I do a lot of NSFW sex talk stuff, so I figured this would be appropriate. Hey guys, I am Davey Wavy, and I'm here with Luke Hudson and Nico Nova. Hello! I love Hulu Hudson. I like, I recognize that tattoo anywhere. Not that I watch porn or anything. Not that I, who is that? Who, who, who is that? I, what? So we are on set for Hammerous.tv. We just filmed a really great period piece with you guys that was like set in World War II, hence the authentic Really hot outfits. They're really sexy. <laughs> yeah, they really. are. For you, Nico, this was the first time that you had had sex with a trans guy. Good for him, honestly. I wish that I was doing that right now. Which was Luke. <laughs> and we filmed it. And so we went Calm down, Keith. Calm down. I'm gonna make a YouTube video where we can kind of talk about your experience having sex with a trans guy. Mm -hmm. Like, that's something that Nico hasn't done. Luke, this is something we talked about in yeah. another YouTube video. For you to feel comfortable that the person that you're having sex with is gonna interact with you oh, yeah. in a way that's like pleasurable and fun, that it's important for you. That's really important because, like, a lot of the time people don't even care about the trans guy's pleasure. They're just like seeing it trans people is like some kind of object. Not to get dark, but like, that's true. A lot of people just like don't even care they're just like checklist ftm checked for you to have so uh, a little bit of a conversation yes. oh yeah we did that always too. yeah yeah i just had like an instant connection from the moment i met him so for me it was kind of more organic of course we we talked a little bit about it and we kind of had ideas on how we wanted to present this but I feel like what we did today it was mm. it was very organic it was very natural it us. was very natural we had goosebumps, goosebumps yeah, the, the whole time, time which it hasn't happened to me in in a while. That conversation that we had was just like a other parts of your body that you don't like. Exactly. Touched. And uh, pretty much the unanimous thing with both of us was just like we like everything except mm -hmm. for like one thing, and exactly. that was it. Mm -hmm. Every trans guy is different. Exactly. That's a good conversation to have if you're fucking a trans guy. Is to be like, what parts of your body do you not like touched, or do you, what are your boundaries around your body? That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Everybody is different, yes. uh, and so it's important to have that conversation always with your partner. But especially, you know, in a situation where there's probably a lot of gay guys who haven't had sex with a vagina before, yes. and so there's like a certain. All right, I'm sure they talked about this beforehand. But if you're talking to a trans person, be careful of your language about their body, because it could be not the word that they use. You know, like some people. For me, I used to use the word dick exclusively for my body. I'm sure they talked about this beforehand. I'm just saying. It's kind of anatomy that they might be unfamiliar with. So did you guys kind of like walk through that at all? Or right. you had asked specifically um, if I would sit on your face and that kind of clicked exactly. in my head that, oh, was like, I already know what I like. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I don't have to teach him how it works. He's attended his sex sixth grade sex ed classes. He knows. <laughs> hey guys, Davey Wavy here, creator of Himorose.tv. If you're enjoying this video, then you're going to love Himorose.tv. Himorose.tv is unlike anything you've ever sad. seen. Hundreds of erotic I'm videos that'll help you discover sense. better sex uh, and enhance your experience of pleasure. See for yourself, click the link in the description. Forward. Be approaching a trans guy for the first time, and yes. like you said, every trans guy is different. Absolutely. Um, what advice would you have to, you know, kind of approach the conversation and sort of sex? Um, you have to approach it from an angle that allows the FTM to have the floor. True. Because trans people don't get enough of a floor. And if you're both trans, well then, you both have the floor. 
pretty much just be like, um, what do you specifically feel about these things? Definitely tell them what you would like, but just make sure that they're aware that they can say whatever they need to to tell you what they like. And like you said, like you have to have a conversation prior to events so you can just explore what, like, the yeah. endless options in the moment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as long as you know what not to do, exactly. you're pretty much set. Because if you ask in an FTM, like, what not to do, they might say, um, don't touch my nipples because I'm weird about them, or don't call it a pussy because I'm weird about that, you know, stuff like that. That's what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes you don't like certain words for your body, and that's perfectly fine. And if somebody uses that word and you don't like it, you could, uh, they should, they should probably ask first, and that's a no-no. That. Like, this is taking place in the 1940s, and you're a trans guy, like, in a period piece. Mm -hmm. Like, what was your take on that? Okay, so fun fact, there were actually um, FTMs back then, but, like, not to this extent, because mm -hmm. uh, steroids <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. hormone it's treatment wasn't really there, I think. But um, there was this one dude, Billy Tipton, who was a jazz piano player, who was full stealth as a trans guy, um, and adopted a bunch of kids and stuff like that. So, like, I know definitely that there were trans people back then, and definitely hiding in the military. This guy knows his shit. Too, I bet. So, that part made total perfect sense to me. It was great that, like, we didn't have to stop and talk about it on camera, yeah. yeah. We didn't have to have your eyes bug out of your head and go, Whoa, yeah, like, China! Kind of reasons to, <laughs> yeah. to kind of, like, get to where we went. We learned to do that in CGI. <laughs> <laughs> It's like on um, the Ryan Murphy series Hollywood on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Like that's not how it went down. Like Rock Hudson did not come out of the closet like that. But mm -hmm. it's like reimagining it in a way where like things are. I don't know who Rock Hudson is. I'm sorry. Are more affirming, more healing, and um, so yeah, we took some liberties with it and deal with it. That's also, I just want to say it's perfectly fine to be shirtless as a trans guy, even if you haven't had top surgery. I'm not gonna do it because I'll get. Um, totally de demonetized, or not demonetized, not monetized yet at all. But anyway, I just want to go on that rant, okay? I just want to take this in a different direction. I don't get why I'm not allowed to be shirt shirtless if I haven't had top surgery, you know? Like, I think my chest is not inherently sexual, and I don't think I should get banned for showing it, which I probably would, you know? Because, like, it's just nipples. It's just nipples, and it's just fat on my chest and I don't think it's a big deal you know it's not female presenting nipples because I'm not female and even then free the nipple free the nipple F this is my rant free the nipple Sorry. <laughs> you deal with it. do you feel like the um the video that we shot today kind of like normalizes sex with like a trans guy yeah absolutely on probably a better level than the ones that explain um like why i am the way that i am and stuff like that this mm -hmm. one was very much like two people who are attracted to each other who don't care what the other person's genitals are like which is very often seen nowadays and it's great you know as long as nobody's being pussy phobic and it's just very nice to like as someone who usually does have to have that conversation to it's true i have to have that conversation with a lot of people so like now i'm okay with most words for my body but like back then back a while ago i was just like i have to explain a lot and people weren't always receptive to that sometimes they were really rude about it what am i talking about again i forgot to just get right into it and not have to like go through the normal prerequisites justify it no. yeah or justify it to somebody mm -hmm. it's true i was gonna say thank you luke <laughs> you are an amazing person thank you, Nico. yeah i'm glad that we had that connection mm -hmm. that we were able to work on i'm so jealous of everybody who got to meet luke hudson <laughs> the video yeah i'm really glad we were able to work off of each yeah. other so well i i fucking loved it so thank you yeah. so much <laughs> yeah thank you and thanks to the both of you for really like showing up for being vulnerable and if you guys want to see it, you can check it out on himorose.tv but if you guys want more of either of you specifically, Luke, what is your OnlyFans? My OnlyFans is uh, OnlyFans.com forward slash Luke Hudson. It's OnlyFans. My OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com slash FTMBoyKeith1. One. one, the number one afterwards, FTMBoyKeith1. Because I made mistakes making an account earlier and now I can't use the username anymore. Aw, uh, snap. Anyway. Fans.com slash Mikonova. So make sure that you guys subscribe to both of these guys and thank you so much for watching and as always, more to <laughs> come. That was fun. 
that was super fun. I want to watch another one. Any of these could be the one. Ew, because I watched one Calvin Guerra video that I was reacting to, like, negatively. It's going to show up on my feed now. I made a mistake. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think um, that's going to wrap it up for now. But thanks for watching. Actually, what would you like me to talk about? Because I'm an NSFW sexual trans guy and I talk about sex. And I know there's not always a lot of information out there about it. So leave questions or you can message me or on any platform. And I might actually Instagram, um, YouTube, OnlyFans. Um, just let me know what you'd like to hear because I want to destigmatize transgender sex. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to me. Uh, fan, become an OnlyFans fan if you're over 18. And yeah, I'm a trans man. A trans man is gonna leave now. Bye. Uh, uh, I need to go to the thing. And I don't know how to edit yet, so.